If the next Borderlands game is actually good, are we even going to accept it as it being good, or will we just say it's bad? Because I've been thinking a lot lately, and it just seems like the community wants the game to die. And you could say, well, you've done your fair share of criticizing the game, and I have, and I will never ever say that I haven't. But I feel like there's a lot of people in the community who are going way beyond just criticism, if that makes any sense. It's, it's more like just hatred towards the game. And maybe even the developers, who knows? Uh, me saying this is probably gonna get people to say like, oh, you're shilling, you're shilling. And it's like, I bring this up because it feels like we just won't accept the game even if it's good. Because in my eyes, I almost feel like the next game will be good. It might not be, you know, Borderlands 2 good, but I feel like it'll be better than Tiny Tina's Wonderlands and Borderlands 3. Because I feel like Gearbox is listening, even though there has been weird things with comic books and stuff like that coming out, but who cares? Those are just like side things for the game, right? People people want to read, they can read, right? Not everybody's going to want to do that, but it's cool that they have that in place for other people. In my opinion, it almost feels as if people want the franchise to die. Like the fans, maybe not, maybe not so much like the hardcore fans, but it's like, I want to ask like a serious question. Do you want the franchise to die? Because in my opinion, I don't. I do not want it to die. I think that this franchise is a great franchise. And yes, they've had some mess ups. They've had some mishaps. They've had some fumbles. But that doesn't make it so that like, I want to see the franchise just tank and not be good anymore. Right? Who would want that? Like, this is a game that I've been playing for <laughs> 10 plus years at this point. So for me to see all these comments and these people saying, oh my God, DEI has ruined everything and all that stuff, I understand it. You, you don't align with what they're doing. And I get it, 100%. But I feel like that's not really a reason to just blindly hate. You know what I mean? I understand there's a lot going on with Borderlands. There's like, you know, the DEI stuff. There's, there's all, all, all types of stuff surrounding the game. But in my opinion, there's no reason for people to hate the way that they're hating and it just sucks it sucks to see because i feel like i made a video before but i feel like this community was just such a vibrant and like nice place to be but then the second that the game started dying everybody jumped ship right the second the gearbox messed up everybody said well i'm done with this i have a perfect example of what's happening right now i listen to a lot of music right and at the moment, there's a pretty big feud happening between two of the biggest rappers in the world right now, Kendrick Lamar and Drake. Me personally, I love Kendrick Lamar. Drake isn't bad either, just not my cup of tea. In this instance, I'm a way bigger fan of Kendrick. He's probably my favorite artist in terms of rap artists. So they get into this feud, things happen, right? People say things, other things come out. Drake sends a diss. Things happen cool. Social media does what social media does. Kendrick hasn't responded to any of it, and people are already declaring him a loser, right? Fans are jumping ship. People are turning on him. People are doing all of this, this negative press, even though he hasn't even been able to prove himself yet. And I say all this to say, if Borderlands 4 or whatever the next game is comes out, and it, it happens to be good, it happens to be really good, will you even give it a chance? Will you stop? and just be fair with it and actually give the developers credit where credit is due? Or is it just gonna be, no, nope, they burned the bridges already, so I can no longer support that. And I will say, if you do that, that is fine. That is 100% fine. But if that's the case, why are you holding on to hope? Why are you sticking around? You know what I mean? Like, I would never ever, if somebody burned a bridge with me, I would never ever want to stick around. I would just jump ship immediately. I would, I would, you know, let's say it was a friend and he happened to, you know, backstab me, double cross, whatever you want to say. I don't want to be friends with you anymore. You know what I mean? And I get it. You have emotional value attached to the game that this company is making. But you also have to realize it is a company and the developers, they're just workers. They're just employees. They may have passion for what they're making, but a game is a game, right? This is their job at the end of the day. When you go into your nine to five or whatever you work, you're not putting your all in, especially if you're getting treated like crap. And from what we've seen with devs being fired and companies just letting go of mass amounts of developers, it, it doesn't seem like they're valued very much. It doesn't seem like these developers have any value or hold any value. So I want to ask you this question one more time. Will you even consider giving Borderlands 4 or Tiny Tina's Wonderlands 2 or any of the next games by Gearbox the credit that they deserve if they come out 
and are actually good? Please let me know in the comments below because I almost feel as if the community won't because the amount of blind hate and negativity that I see towards the game without any type of like forethought before they say something is astonishing. And I know I'm probably going to get dislikes because people aren't going to want to hear it. And I get it. I get it 100%, right? You're free to do what you want. Everybody's free to do what they want. But it's just bothered me recently, especially seeing my comment section so full of toxicity. Anyways, that's all I wanted to talk about. Hopefully the next games come out and they're good and everybody just accepts them for being good. Because if the game franchise dies and the next game is good, then it's on us. It is 100% on the fan base. Leave a comment down below. I really want to hear you guys' thoughts. If you've enjoyed, leave a like. And if you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you guys around. But other than that, I hope you have a good day. I hope to see you in the next video. And goodbye. No,